Hey and welcome to Never Run to Feel Aragon. So the maximum item level has gone above 90,000. You can see I haven't reached that maximum as I still miss a couple of things. And we'll discuss that. But I also want to cover that chasing for item level is never always the best thing to do. You're going to be, when gearing up in the game, given these like recommendations to get higher item level gear. For example, I have this mythic headpiece and it will still recommend me. You can see that shiny orange recommended star, which tells me I should be wearing a higher item level headpiece. However, that's not generally the best scenario to go with that. Don't blindly always follow this recommended gear strategy that the game pushes for you. In general, yes, item level does contribute to a more significant increase to your character just through the base damage that you obtain through the item level along with your hit points. However, a lot of content in this game is scaled. All your random cues are scaled. They're set at a given item level. You will be set down to that point, which will then scale your hit points and your damage, making increasing your item level above that scaled point pointless. So if the scale point is 25,000, there's not any point for me to have any higher item level than 25,000. It will give me zero benefit. Some people are really against this, but it's a neat way for the game to make content not get power creeped by people getting, yeah, to like 90,000 item level. So before we jump into that in more depth, let's have a comparison. Let's see exactly what we miss on our character to get to that 90,000 and what exactly is the value of the highest item level you could possibly get right now. So what I actually miss here is upgrading my Dark Maiden's gear. You can get this upgraded like I've done with the chess piece to 2,050 item level, getting it to a shiny mythic quality. It also improves the bonuses a little bit. You can see that via the Menza Branson campaign just here. There's the store. And this is the highest item level gear in the game. It originally comes from your Master Temple of the Spider, getting the reagents and buying the gear in the North Dark Reaches. You get it on Legendary originally, 2000 item level. So we miss three upgrades, the head, the arms and the boots. That's a 50 item level increase on three slots. That's 150 we miss right there. We have the highest item level weapons in the game, 2050. The highest item level set, 2050 as well from the Xemnid's Reliquary Master. Same with the rings from there. And the shirt and pants, we're still a bit behind. This is the highest item level so far, 1600 from your Dragon Slayer just here you'd be able to beat up ancient dragons, get the reagents and buy those. So, so far we only miss 150 with these three gear pieces. However, we move to enchantments and our artifacts. We can have two upgrades. Like the Wand of Domination, it gives 1,500 item level and there are two new artifacts which also give that much item level and we don't have those. One is from the Zen market, you'll see it in the collections here, the Rod of Pain, giving 1,500 item level on Mythic. So we miss 300 item level going from like these artifacts at 1,200 to 1,500. And there is a second artifact as well. You can get the Eye of Odran, which is 1,500 item level. A serious grind, you can get it by doing your campaign tasks in Menza Branson. Complete your boon points three times and you'll be able to get the Eye of Odran and then the following reagents to upgrade it. A ridiculous grind, but if you wanna go for the 300 extra item level, it's there. So we miss 600 item level across missing two of the highest item level artifacts. So in total, we're missing 750 item level. And the biggest score is in our mounts. We miss 
three four slot mounts like the balgora we have here and the abon riding lizard they have four insignia slots they also have a special preferred insignia slot as their fourth one which will boost a mythic insignia from 500 item level to 600 item level yes i could go to the zen market go and buy three of these mounts their bonuses are kind of shitty and they cost zen so i'm not going to do that just for that item level increase but you can if you're chasing for the maximum we'll discuss again if that's worth it a little bit later and then there is also the gilded goose which i didn't get on this character which you could have four slots as well so i could only just get away with buying only two but still that point being we missed three 600 item level insignias which would give us a total of 1800 item level yeah so in total this is what we are missing all of these items here oh yeah there's also the shirt and trousers you can put armor kits in here these ever frost ones five item level not worth it and they'll come out with eventually some uh, extra kits you can put in your shirt and pants i would just wait but you can see again the list there we are missing 2560 item level total that would put us when we have this 89,004 to 91,564 item level that is the current maximum of everything i've calculated let me know if i've missed anything at all that would give us the maximum item level in the game right now yeah over 90,000. pretty crazy but it's not really gonna affect much outside of content that's not scaled which is your adventure zones yeah they're gonna become very trivialized however you still have your leveling adventures which are scaled and that's a reason because you don't want to have a high level character just walking through there and everything dying due to some silly smile aura yeah they don't really want that so you're scaled down in these areas if you want to help out your friend leveling as well you are scaled so that you aren't just one-shotting everything so it's kind of a smart way they're scaling it doesn't really matter when we get to such high item levels they will help you though power creep master content because master content doesn't get scaled every few modules it'll have its difficulty bumped up again like we have seen back with module 23 all the master trials zariel tower of the mad mage crown of caldagon got increased in difficulty a little bit just to match the maximum a player can get to and they'll probably keep doing that but so far they have not increased the difficulty of the vault of stars and they probably won't with a temple of the spider at least not for a long time so higher item level will contribute to more power on your character will help you beat that master content a bit easier however let's go back into optimizing our gear why is it not the best thing to go for what the game recommends as higher item level gear why would i take gear pieces with lower item level well because of their bonuses you can see you have your green called equip and then like butcher's focus on this headpiece and when we compare this to the highest item level gear piece in the game you can see this one would only give me a bonus when I actually kill an enemy and it's only action points like 1%. If I upgrade that, it will be 3%. It's good for AOE. But if I'm trying to maximize my damage in single target against bosses, I'm not killing any enemies and so the bonus becomes useless. And so I'd be better off taking a lower item level gear piece, which could give me a maximum of 10% of these statistics. And that's what you would do across your other gear pieces. Your armor here, this exalted maiden's raid coat, might not be good in a certain fight. For example, I'm going against Tiamat in Rise of Tiamat trial. I can't get behind her, so she will always be facing me. I'll gain no benefit from this chest. And so it's kind of pointless. And so I'd be better off with 
the lower item level armor piece that could give me 15% stats. Again, you're reducing your item level. You're not taking what the game recommends to gain a bigger boost to your damage via your stats. But this Dark Maiden gear can actually have a viable place again. If you're running under that content, this gets doubled to 12%. And if you're in a fight where you can be behind the enemy most of the time, like Demogorgon, then, uh, yeah, pretty reliable boost and you could totally use it. The arms on the other hand, this damage bonus is minuscule. You can get it upgraded again to mythic and it'll have a little bit better damage output, but it's still gonna deal very little amounts and you'd be better off with something that gives you stats or up to a 5% damage boost via this, which again is lower item level than the maximum so it's a bit deceiving that the game would recommend that when the bonuses anyway the game can't exactly balance around the bonuses because some bonuses are good in some content and some are better in others so it's up to you to optimize your character the boots again you can upgrade these also to give you a total of 5,000 power. And instead of that, we could use boots that would give us 10,000. And the item level is also lower again. Then with the neck and waist that we have right here, along with the artifact, the set, we have Ruthless Domination. I don't see it as very useful because you only gain the bonus stats when you use a daily power. And otherwise you do gain the two attributes all the time. So instead of this, you could use like our Dragon Hunt set, like the Dragon Hide Sash here combined with the Dragon Choker. And this would give us like the aggressive alacrity, which could give us up to 7.5% combat advantage. You can get ones with crit severity, ones with crit strike. But they, again, they're significantly less item level. But I would take them. I would recommend them, even going so far as using the Mythalar set for the extra damage bonus and the extra intelligence boost. So we can see via this notepad what stats we are missing. And in total, it's like 31%. 10% from the head, 3% from the armor, 5% from the arms, 5% from the feet, 2% from the shirt, and 6% from the neck, waist, and artifact set. 31% total stats we are missing. But how much item level are we giving up if we were to actually take those stats? Well, only 2,200 via these adjustments, like 200 item level from the head, 450 from the arms, 450 from the neck, and then the waist, and 300 from the shirt. So we're only losing 2,200 item level for a 31% total stat gain. Yeah, have a look at the math on that. And you can see it's definitely a lot better to just go for the extra stats. You can see these would be all the stats we'd be missing to actually gain that 2,200 boost in item level. This is a big part of the game. Optimizing your character and your stats and focusing on gear which gives you those boosts rather than just mindlessly going for maximum item level. You can see that optimized player will deal 9% more damage than you. Just to be aware, have a look at what people use in their builds and it's never really go for maximum item level because it's not the best way to go in this game. I mean, I like that part of this game. It's not all a mindless, take the maximum, go home and you're all set. You have to actually think, you have to see what different bonuses are out there on which gear pieces. Some are useful in some areas and some are not in others. This headpiece is a big example of that. It's a great headpiece, especially when you upgrade it to Mythic, giving you 3% action points per kill, allows you to put out your daily power a lot more often when you're killing groups of enemies. And so it's really good for an AoE build when you're killing lots of trash mobs. But it's not good when fighting a boss where you're only going to kill him at the end and you'd only gain the bonus then. Kind of pointless. So in general, you can just go with whatever gives you the most stats that you need for your class. For a DPS, it's these five main stats, prioritizing power, then combat advantage, then crit severity, then crit strike, and lastly, accuracy. You do want to get some damage bonuses here and there. If the damage bonuses are equal to or higher than the total amount of stats you could gain with options, then take the damage bonus instead. And if you're playing a healer, you're going for power, then your outgoing healing, then your critical severity, and then your critical strike, with lastly forte. 
And then if you're a tank, it's your awareness, critical avoidance, defense, stamina regeneration, incoming healing, and lastly, like maximum hit points. So hopefully this has been somewhat insightful to you guys. Again, the maximum item level in this game right now is over 90,000 to be exact. 91,564. That'll get you over 11,000 base damage if you have the Weaver weapons, which, yeah, won't increase your damage. It'll actually reduce it if you're not going for the gear, which would actually optimize your stats instead. Massive thank you again to all these channel members for their added support. You can support me for as little as one euro a month by clicking the join button down below. So we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.